Hello friends from YouTube here. I'm going to teach you how you can make a desktop application with PHP. It sounds a little bit crazy. Uh, somebody uh, think how you can make a, a software, a desktop software, a desktop application with PHP. Okay, so it's it's very easy. It's very easy. You can make a software just like at the .NET and Java you can also make a software with PHP okay so here you can see this is my a simple to do software okay uh, you can say it's a to do category to do cat and something okay click cat item and this is save successfully okay and you can see so this is a software so how you can make this okay let me show you first of all you can download php desktop uh, application from github and here you can see this is PHP desktop application this is open source and you can download here so once you click on download let's it's, it's, take, it's taking time okay no problem just click on download and download will start in a little bit in a little minute See, I have installed uh, for, uh, this one, this PHP desktop from GitHub, and you can see here is a folder is locals. One is PHP. This is web cache, a cache, and this is www and some of its necessary files. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to put your php application under www i have copied my to do application here you can see i made to do application in laravel so i have pasted all uh, codes and folders under www okay and what you have to do you have to make some changes a little bit changes here if you are working with laravel so you can make some changes here and you can see here is a setting settings.json file just click it and you can see here is application and in application there is single instance guide and this is dpi aware forget about all things this is no it's not for you okay this is debugging and here is show console but, uh, by default show console is true but uh, once you, uh, once, uh, you, uh, you type true uh, there is a sh uh, console box there is a console box displaying just 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 near with your application so uh, show console you have to put false okay and here is title so you can type anything what do you want and um, the, uh, the uh, other is important thing is here see what you have to do you have to write your directory files so so uh, www slash index dot php okay and everything is okay now fine okay now you are going to start your application so just click on php desktop chrome item okay when i click and you can see 
So here is my Ajax to do list. Okay, for database, this is dynamic and uh, you can uh, use SQLite. I have used SQLite for database. Uh, you can also, sorry, <clears throat> you can also uh, use, you can also use uh, SQLite or MySQL. What do you want? It's, it's, it's you. Uh, okay forget it uh, you can use sqlite for this okay so now this is your application and your application is ready now what you have to do you have to make a installer okay so for installer type ino setup in google chrome and you can see here is a ino setup jrs software click here and click on download you know setup and click on random site okay see I have installed you know setup compiler okay so what you have to do just click on Inno setup and cancel under file click new file click next and type your application name suppose my application is to do demo my version is 1.0 my company is to do demo my site is google.com next application destination base folder okay uh, where you want to put your file so I want to put my file under C okay click on next browse your executable file so uh, you what you have to do mm, suppose my file is on php de uh, desk one folder okay here is executable file click on uh, php desktop chrome open add your folder this is my PC and here is local disk and here is where is where is this is here is PHP Dex1 where is my all files okay yes I need all subfolders then click on next then click on next 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 custom compile upper folder where you want to, uh, uh, to put your uh, folder to put your uh, dex, uh, file so here I want okay this compiler set up base file name you can change it to do demo setup okay click on next uncheck you don't need compiler directives click next and finish would you like to compile the new script now press yes and click no i don't want to uh, save this folder by default on my data my documents okay click and the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process i think i have already open my file that's why it's uh, showing me error okay now click on uh, one second play it will now and you can see it's working
it will take a little time just wait for it see it is generating all necessary files for setup uh, only 12 seconds all right man remain scenes <coughs> Come on, come on, come on. Okay. And you can see here, this is all necessary information. What I put for setup this is to do demo. This is auto generated app ID. This is version. This is a pub publisher uh, to do demo. INC URL app support URL app update URL default directory name where my file will be installed okay so let wait to complete this process Seven seconds remaining. Some few minutes, some few seconds more. I think it's completed. Just wait for a second. Okay. So our setup is created, and now you can see here it's a to do to demo setup okay once you click on to do demo setup here the screen will, will be shown this is C uh, and this is to do demo so I click next yes I have shortcut next install okay extracting files in C to the demo all things okay now we are installing our PHP application <laughs> it's looking very nice so with this uh, with PHP desktop Chrome and with inno setup you can make any you can make any any type of application a desktop application okay so files are extracting let's wait to complete installation And you can see finished our installation is finished now I'm going to launch my demo application this is to-do list see we are ready to go okay 
uh, here I type something something anything okay add item um, add successfully whoa okay so you can see uh, uh, you I think I have did all things and you can make any type of desktop application in PHP so if you have any doubts regarding a setup regarding desktop application you can ask me I will definitely give you us okay thank you guys keep enjoying and one more thing for desktop application if you want uh, some dynamic uh, if you want to make some dynamic application so you need SQLite so um, I'll let you know in next video how to make dynamic application with SQLite so I have used uh, here in this uh, application I've used SQLite so uh, then goodbye I'll let you know in next video thank you have a good day bye